Hello YouTube, and today I am going to try to make a collab of uh, my Minecraft server tutorial and my port forwarding tutorial in one. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible and as simple as possible. I'm going to do everything, port forwarding, creating a static IP address, and setting up the server. Alright, so first what we're going to need to do is let's get with the hard, the hard stuff done first and go with the port forwarding. So you're going to need to go to your web browser and um, from there you're going to want oh you know what let's do something else first what you want to do is go to your um, network settings so you could go to you know open open networks uh, open network stuff change adapter settings and you want to find local area connection alright then you want to go to properties then you want to go to internet protocol version 4 you double click that and this is where you want to make a static IP address it's usually at obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically but in order for the server to work you need to have a static because it won't if it'll be it'll keep changing so nobody could connect you so what you're gonna want to do is come up with an IP address I use 47 I don't know why just did and um, then your subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 then your default gateway which is usually 192.168.1.1 which you could find this stuff if you go to command prompt and you type in ipconfig ipconfig slash all and go to your local area connection and it should say right here your, what your default gateway is 192.168.1.1 that is your router and then your subnets right here so once once you do that you have these three down which I, you want to type put in your DNS servers which is actually still in command prompt you do um, ipconfig slash all again and your DNS servers servers should be under DNS servers your the first one is your um, preferred the second one is your alternate you type those in once you have all this set up you hit OK uh, you might need to reset your computer restart your computer so and so alright you might lose <laughs> when you do this um, you might lose connection for a second but it'll come back on but so after that you want to go to your you want to get into your router so you want to type in that default gateway that you found in the command prompt so mine was 192.168.1.1 okay type in your username and password um, links this is are usually admin and then password or admin admin Netgears or admin 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 password usually if you haven't changed it it's something with admin and password if you need help I'll try to help you and message me and I'll get that going um, it changes password so many times okay so this is what you want to do since you created a static IP address you want to make sure that your DHCP server your dynamic IP, which um, gives your other computers in your house or iPods, whatever, an IP address. You want to create your starting IP address, like over a hundred, if you want, or you could do it. You could do it over fifty, but as long as, as long as it does, it doesn't overlap your when you set up your. So I put forty-seven. Forty-seven is lower than a hundred, so that won't conflict. Okay, so. Then you know DHCP and server enabled, of course, if you want your other computers to have internet. But then this is where it gets to the port forwarding. Applications and gaming for Linksys, and then port forward range or port range forward. Um, then application, you can name it whatever you want. I tend to make it Minecraft because it's a lot easier to control. Then your start and end ports 
want to be 25565, 25565. Your protocol, you want both TCP and UDP. And now, since you made the IP address for your computer static, you want to put that IP address for of the of your computer right here. So 47 minus 47. I'll show you again. Right there. IP4 address 192.168.1.47. That's this computer. The one I'm going to put the server on. Right here. 147. Hit enable. Save settings. Okay, now you might also want, it's up to you, block anonymous internet requests. Some have them, some don't. I do it because and I can. Okay, now that is it for port forwarding. Literally, it's that easy. So, once you're done with the port forwarding, you want to go to Minecraft.net. From here, you just want to go to Play Minecraft Beta, hit download, and at the very bottom it says Multiplayer Beta Server Software. Alright, you want to just do the EXE. And if you're using Linux, use that. Alright, so save your file, go to Downloads, Minecraft Server. You can throw it to your desktop, make it a little easier. Boot it up. And you should get a whole bunch of crap over here. And a bunch of crap over here. A lot of fails. Okay, spawn area, which that's just creating your map, and you really don't need that right yet. So, since you have, since you have all these errors, you want to get rid of these warnings and errors, and so let's get out of the server. Okay. Then there should be one that is labeled server. Not this one. That one has a bunch of gibberish on it. This one, you might have to right click it and then hit open with and then go to notepad. Alright, then you should get this bunch of crap. Alright, so then level name. This is what you're going you're gonna to name your level. I want to call it Ratville. Okay, allow nether, you know, the nether is, you get a true or false view distance. I guess that has to do with the fog or whatever. Spawn monsters, the zombies, spiders. Online mode, you definitely want true. Spawn animals, if you like slaughtering pigs and cows, I guess you could do true too. Um, max 20 players, um, you could do whatever you want really. If you got a big one, I, I really don't know anything about how good it runs with more than 20 people, but <laughs> usually you don't get more than 20 people anyway. Then, server IP. This is what what you're, you typed in for the server. So mine was 47. So it's going to be 192.168.1.47. Okay. So, that's the server IP. Then said PVP, true, whatever you want. Level seed, if you want to add a seed. Server port should be 25565, the same you put in for the start and end in your port forwarding. Okay. Allow fluff flight, I don't know, whitelist, whatever. You really don't need those unless you want to. Um, make sure you save it. Okay, once you save, I tend to like putting everything in one little folder here. I'll name it Minecraft Server because let's throw all of that crap in there make it nice and neat okay now when, when you boot up this you shouldn't get all those fails there no warnings no fails it's preparing to spawn area let that go let that go while that's going I'll 
show you some other stuff you could do. See Ratville, that's what the map that it's spawning right now. OP is you could name what your uh who a administrator is. So my username is Derek Dub, I'll name it Derek Dub Dub. Save it. And I'm still there. Whitelist. Yeah. Server. You don't need that one. Bunch of gibberish. Then you could also ban IPs, you know, if like somebody's messing with you. You could also ban their username. But if you really want to get rid of them, ban their IP. Alright, so this should almost be done. So then you could just boot up Minecraft. No clue where my Minecraft is. I think it's on my Steam. Okay, it's done. Once I have it steam booted up here. In case you didn't know, people who aren't familiar with Steam, I just added a shortcut in here because I have all my games in here. Just to make it simpler for me, but you know, you might have it on your desktop or wherever you'd like. Okay, yeah, shut up. Shut up Steam. Close. Close. Seriously. Anyway, hit login. <laughs> Multiplayer. And I already have it there. Just, if you're, since it's your, if you're the host, if you're the one setting it up, what you want to do is type in that IP address, um, colon, um, 25565, and then hit connect. And there you go, you spawned in your server. Okay. I would have somebody join to show you guys what this would work, but um, nobody's willing to play Minecraft right now, and I don't really play it too much anymore either, but doing this for you guys. Alright, so there might be one more problem. There might be one more problem with um, people not being able to connect. Okay, that's your firewall, such as, I don't know if your antivirus has one, but if you have Windows, you definitely have Windows firewall. So, you could just go and find your Windows firewall. Let's go to turn Windows firewall on or off. Just turn them both off. Hit OK. You'll get a little blinky right here. Okay, and then if you have an antivirus, you might as well just, instead of fiddling around unless you know how to turn off the firewall, just completely exit out of it. Uh, just don't go on any weird sites and download crap. But, so for other people to connect to you, you what you want to do This, whoever, whoever is making the server, you have no, you don't have to even do this, but this is what you would tell people if um, you wanted them to connect to your server. You go to cmyip.com, and it'll tell you your IP address right here, okay? And then that's the one you want to do. It'll be that number then colon 25565 and that's what your friends type in to join you okay make sure you have the server up still and you could you could always leave minecraft and if your friends still want to play it's still running see it says i i get out of there and uh that should really be it um i know everybody really likes my wallpapers like in the past two videos, everybody asked for one. I will put this one in the download link too, since I know it's inevitable. Um, that's about it. Uh, message me if you have any questions. Don't leave a comment. Be don't leave a comment if you have a question, because then it just gets all goofy. So just message me right away.